Hello, welcome back to another speed build with Fremlin. And I'm building with the Discover University pack again. But this time my build is really focused on the gameplay in this pack. And this build, as you can see, is a dormitory, or as they call it in the game, university housing. And uh, yeah, I basically set out with this in mind. I didn't just build randomly, I just thought, right, I'm gonna build this. And this is what I built, and uh, I really like this location. I think it's called Gibbs Hill, uh, this neighborhood, and this is like the heart of Gibbs Hill. And this is where the, I think it's the Laurel Library is usually, so that's why. This build has a similar name, because I just thought I'd make a nod to that, it just seemed appropriate. But you might have noticed as we're coming in at the very start on the intro that uh, this build isn't quite the restricted pack build that I would usually do. I mean usually my builds would be whatever the latest pack was plus the base game. Sometimes I have done builds with a few other packs. I think um, just the, off the top of my head there's probably up to about a six pack build or somewhere like that on this channel. There might be some others. I don't think I have absolutely always done restricted pack builds. But uh, yeah, in my last video, if you watched it, I was thinking about maybe doing some that weren't so restricted. And so I thought I'd start with this build. And this uses Discover University. This uses the base game, but it also uses six other packs. Now, I think it's a really hard habit to kick this restricted pack building. So you've got to forgive me, I've only used about, well in total there, seven packs. Discover University and six other packs. So yeah, it's uh, it's still rest restricted a little bit. <laughs> it's a really hard habit to kick, I've got to tell you. When I was building, I was like, should I use this item or should I use this item from this pack that I'm already using? I mean, that's just a natural way that I build. I, I don't even think, ooh. This item would be good here, I think. This item would be good here, but is it in a pack that I'm already using? <laughs> so I did do that with this build, and uh, basically what I settled on was uh, to use Discover University mainly. Then I used a lot of Vampire's Pack. There's quite a few Vampire's Pack items. I don't think you can see any at the moment yet, though, but you will inside. I think the first thing you'll see is an internal door. And then I just kind of went from it from there. I used a few more bits from that pack. I also used a bit of uh, get together. And then I used a few um, items from get to work because that felt appropriate here. Um, lots of the posters on the wall that I put in the dormitory bedrooms, I think, are from that pack. And there's a few other bits from there too. And then, yeah, there's uh, a few other items from a few random packs, like there's the thermometer thingy, the, sorry, the thermostat is what I mean. The thermostat from Seasons, and uh, I think there's like uh, a shelf of awards from the children's pack that I can't think of the name right now. What's it called? Children's stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of the name right now, I just can't. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. So it's, it's like mostly three or four packs and then a few items from some other packs. And if you don't have those packs then oh well, um, you're not going to really miss anything big with this build. Um, but if you've got the main packs you should be fine. So yeah, I just, I just felt that this build would suit the area, I thought, if you're going to build here, you have to build something grand, in my humble opinion. <laughs> so this is my somewhat grand build. I mean, it's not grand as in massive. It's pretty small, actually. I mean, it's it's big but small, if you know what I mean. Uh, how about we compromise by saying it's like a medium-sized build? Because <laughs> there is a word for this big but not small kind of thing, isn't there, Fremlin? I mean, gee. <laughs> That roof colour, by the way, I don't know why I liked it at the start, but I actually changed it. <laughs> it goes darker near the end, and uh, yeah, you would have seen that in the intro at the start, but I just felt that a darker uh, colour was more appropriate in the end. 
And I hope that you agree with me. So these rather grand looking chimneys, I mean, actually, they're not completely, you know, they're not something I've just made up. They're, 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 they're real. And lots of these kind of older builds, they had these really big ornate, um, ornate isn't really the word, grand is more the word, um, really big chimneys is what I mean. And, or chimney stacks, I think might be the correct term. I didn't exactly uh, search for terms before I made this video. But yeah, um, every room, basically, apart from maybe the bathroom, <laughs> has uh, a fireplace on it, which is cool. Or rather, it's warm. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'll leave the humor for people that are actually funny. <laughs> But yeah, one thing you would have noticed from the very start is that I actually built this at a lower level. And the reason I did that is because lots of these kind of buildings do have this lower floor and it's not really quite a basement because it's not actually under underground. I'm calling it the basement here. At the end in the showcase, I do say the word basement to describe it because it's not really the ground floor and it's not like a minus one floor, you know? <laughs> The best way I could describe it in, in the words I prefer to use is to say basement, but it's not really. Uh, but yeah, lots of these kind of buildings do have these floors that are downstairs. They're not basements in the classic sense. They have windows on the outsides. You can see them from the street level, but you have to look down. So that's something I tried to recreate with this build. This kind of uh, below street level kind of level <laughs> or floor is uh, the word I'm looking for. So yeah, anyway. Now, this build, I actually, like I do my, all my builds, I playtested it a lot. I um, did place it in my uh, legacy kind of let's play, normal playing world. But uh, my sim had already enrolled into university and it seems that once you're in a university, you can't actually then move midterm into... Um, uh, student housing or whatever you call it uh, or dormitory to use the word I'm actually using for this video <laughs> so I couldn't do it in there I had to actually make a whole playtest world and actually play in that world for a while to be able to check out how this actually worked um, in terms of gameplay because uh, if you've been watching me for a while you know that I like playtesting and making sure my builds are really focused on the best uh, setup for gameplay. Um, the look of a building is like secondary to me. Um, I really wanted to play well. I wanted to have lots of items that my sim is going to need. I wanted to not have any gameplay issues. So playtesting is really crucial for me. Um, I uh, prefer having uh, a build, you know, playing in a build that I've actually, that someone, whether it's me or someone else, has actually tested um, enough to find problems. I don't like finding problems <laughs> in builds, but that's cool for me because I actually, I actually tend just to play with my own builds because, you know, I like building. So yeah, I build for my own needs and I, I needed some kind of student housing in this, uh, in my legacy world. And I wanted to start with the kind of University of Brightchester more traditional style that's more my kind of forte than uh, modern stuff uh, but I think at some point I will switch over and uh, do Foxbury. Now we're going to see some furnishing coming up and I'm going to keep talking throughout that. Uh, I think sometimes I've left it without uh, commentary but uh, I'm actually going to keep talking because I want to <laughs> and I hope you don't mind. But yeah, I started with a very basic kind of uh, vampires game pack um, wallpaper and then I switched over to this one which I think is a base game one and you'll see some of these items like that couch uh, from vampires game pack and the door uh, that you saw before was obviously from vampires game pack. So is this wallpaper in here. I don't know, I just felt it worked. And again, sometimes when I'm choosing items to put into a build, I think about what packs I'm already using. So that might have drawn me to use this pack. I mean, this wallpaper. But yeah, there's like a bar. And uh, then over here we've got like, uh, I call it a games room. <laughs> and it's pretty similar style. It's got the same wallpaper in here. 
and that I place lots of items from get together. So I've got uh, video games, foosball, card, uh, table, and the ping pong from Discover University. And then this room in the middle, uh, directly in front of the front door, is a diner. And there was uh, a little kind of uh, diner item. Uh, I don't know what to call it. This thing that I just placed down uh, in the middle, almost in the middle to the left, uh, where people can order food from. I can't think of the word for it right now. It's not really a bar. What do you call it? Let me know in the comments. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, people can go in there and uh, order food and sit down. Which is cool because they can't cook it themselves. They're not allowed to. You're not allowed stoves or um, barbecues in student housing. So as you can see, I'm, I've got this green and yellow University of Brightchester um, flags and posters everywhere. We're now upstairs. We're on the first floor and we're looking at the furnishing of the dormitory bedrooms. And there are three of them. And this was in the very middle. This is directly above the diner. And so it's got this traditional look, but it's also got, um, you know, obviously a bit of decoration um, from students. And one thing I didn't know until I started playtesting is that when you have um, other students in here with you, they basically change everything. <laughs> they change all the decorations. All the stuff that I placed down on the furniture gets moved around by students when they're moved in. So when you place this in your world, uh, don't be surprised at the mess made. It's not the way I set it up. I, I make things, in my opinion, nice and tidy. But um, <laughs> the students will mess it up and put their own things everywhere. And I, I can't control that. I mean, I'd like to. I'd like to stop them making a mess, but I can't. So yeah, one of, one of the delights of uh, student housing <laughs> is shared uh, bathrooms. So <laughs> here is a shared bathroom. I would absolutely hate to share a bathroom with anyone like this. I've been quite lucky in the places I've lived as an adult. That, uh, I've mostly lived on my own or with just one trusted friend or something like that. Um, and yeah, mostly I've had a bathroom to myself where I've shared it, like I said, with just maybe one other person or something like that. So, oh, there was one time when, when I was in my twenties and uh, I shared with three girls in one house. That wasn't so bad. They did all my dishes, which was very cool. I I didn't ask them to do them. They did them for me. But in fairness, I wasn't really doing them. <laughs> oh no, why did I bring this up? Anyway, so we've got a gym. And there's probably something else that I missed as well. But yeah, there's a gym. I just thought some of your students are surely, surely going to be um, into athletics and stuff like that. And keeping fit. Um, I think the other room you saw was the art and music room. That uh, popped up so quickly. And this is like a massive library study room. So it's got places to study. It's got uh, computers, it's got research machines, which are different from computers apparently. It's got a little place, a little kind of uh, item that you can debate on, practice debates on. It's got uh, books and everything. But yeah, that's it for the, the furnishing. And uh, now we're gonna have a look at the showcase. Ground floor. Entrance. Entrance hall. Games room. Student bar. Diner. Back garden. First floor.
first floor hall. Bedroom 1 Bedroom 2 Bedroom 3 Basement Bathroom Art and Music Room Gym Library and study room And there it is A dormitory just for your Brightchester students And hey, I really enjoyed building this and I also really enjoyed playtesting it, so I hope you'll enjoy it as well. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to build next. Um, I'm not sure if I will continue doing university stuff straight away. I still feel I didn't finish Glimmerbrook, so I should finish finishing that with houses. But I'm not sure. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you want, me, do you want to see some more Discover University builds? Or should I go back and finish some other packs? Or should I just do something completely random? I don't know. Um, I suppose I could make uh, some more Discover University stuff, like maybe a library, maybe a, a commons, something like that. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.